Welcome to Trusted Talks with Maria. I am your host, Maria Atieno. Today, guys, we have yet another inspiring story. And you know what? I'm getting to love these stories because we get to learn a lot. And uh, today on our show, we have the CEO of Landsoft Beliotech Solution. So guys, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Without taking much time, allow me to introduce the CEO on set. Karibu sana, Jared. Uh, thank you so much, Maria. Uh -huh. Good to show up in, uh, in this meeting. Nice to host you. Thank you so much. How, how are you? I'm good. Uh -huh. yeah. You're looking so nice. <laughs> Asante sana. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, Karibu sana. Thank you. So, uh, please, would you introduce yourself to us? Tell us who Jared is. Yeah, um, my name is Jared Manduka. Um, uh, I'm the Landsoft uh, Bellotech Solutions CEO and founder. Um, Landsoft has been running for the last five years mm. and we are privileged to have made some impact in the society. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, apart from just being the CEO, I'm also an author. Mm -hmm. I've published my book mm -hmm. last year. Mm -hmm. And um, we also, I also do graphic designs and, uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, and such. Okay. So I would say that uh, I'm an all-around CEO. Wow. That's amazing. So, uh, please, would you tell us uh, what was it like uh, growing up? What did you love to do as a young boy? And uh, how did that uh, inspire you to be the person you are today? Well, um, I think I've grown from the village. I have not <laughs> just uh, started my life. <laughs> uh, I've typically come from the village. I come from uh, Mm -hmm. uh, an environment that has uh, basically a family that is not uh, uh, a humble uh, background basically mm -hmm. whereby uh, my dad my, my dad has been uh, a, a cook mm -hmm. in an high school uh, and uh, my mom is just a housewife okay. so basically our family is very humble mm -hmm. but it has uh, a religious background okay. whereby yeah. we go to church yeah. and we've been raised knowing that mm -hmm. the church is a place to go on mm -hmm. every Sunday so yes. that we can be able to mm -hmm. uh, basically tell mm -hmm. our needs yeah, to God. To go. Yeah, so uh, mm -hmm. growing up, I, I've also gone to school in, uh, in the rural areas, okay. uh, but that hasn't stopped us from being the best. Mm -hmm. you, you see, we, in an environment where you are, you have to do your best yeah. to even uh, do better yes. than your parents. Yes. So even even if we went to, I went to the rural schools, I was able to also I performed so well, mm -hmm. and then uh, I transitioned to I, I transitioned to high school, mm -hmm. um, where I also performed well, mm -hmm. and then transitioned to university. Mm -hmm. So basically, what inspired me as a child, I don't think I had some good life in terms of. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you see, children will engage in things like playing, yes, football, yes. and all that. My mm -hmm. mom was very strict in terms of mm -hmm. uh, when you come home from school yes. and ensure that you do the duties yes. that were assigned. Yes. So I was more of confined to, to if I'm not doing the tasks for the parent, uh -huh. then I'll be reading. reading. I, would, I would say I, I, I was a reader basically. So oh. the kind of uh, time to go play around, uh -huh. it wasn't so much. And then my mom was very strict. Uh -huh. If you're not reading, you're not doing an assignment, yes. then you might be sleeping. I think that's, oh, okay. those are the options which are more available. Oh. But uh, I tried uh -huh. Uh, athletics some time mm -hmm. back mm -hmm. I would run at school level and then it uh, I wouldn't proceed past there oh. but uh, activities like athletics have always inspired mm -hmm. then uh, I later joined uh, volleyball I would mm -hmm. play volleyball mm -hmm. which of course uh, the main teaching from anything that requires uh, more than one person it's teamwork yeah. so uh, I've known and uh, uh, learned that you need to exercise teamwork for you yes. to achieve the objective yeah. if you are yeah. working on something yeah. that requires more than one person. Yeah, yeah. That is very key. That is very key. Yeah. So you are the CEO of uh, Venutech. Yes. Landsoft Venutech. Yes. So uh, have you ever been employed before? 
Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, partly, in, not really employment. When you come out of campus, you need to gain some experience so of that course. you can be able to see how things are done of professionally yes. and gain that experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, uh, I was called for, by a company, I think we were doing, as a software engineer, because my background is yes. uh, uh, computer science, okay. to develop their, uh, their system for health, health, mm -hmm. uh, health systems, mm -hmm. that is HMIS. Mm -hmm. But we did it for like two years, and then we... Uh, I left mm -hmm. just to concentrate on land soft benefit mm -hmm. solutions. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So, what inspired you to be a CEO? Uh, I would say I wasn't inspired to be a CEO, but it came because mm -hmm. once you have a vision to achieve something or a goal, mm -hmm. you have to work towards it. Mm -hmm. uh, the CEO is just the, the name, yeah. but the vision behind mm -hmm. uh, the, the brand name mm -hmm. is what matters. Mm -hmm. So, my inspiration comes out of the need to mm. solve the problem because yes. uh, with my skills in uh, uh, in uh, programming, we are able to build systems which yes. are made to, to basically solve the problems in the society. So my inspiration of building a brand that specializes in software development is to ensure that we are able to solve the problems at hand and be able to uh, meet the needs of the society. Mm -hmm. So with time now building and solving people's problems, you find that you've already established, you have already branded yourself. And then, of course, uh, in corporate market, you just need to have a leader. Mm -hmm. So you just have to be the CEO. Okay. Yes. okay. So when did you establish your company? Mm, I would say Landsoft Value Tech Solutions was started in uh, 2017. Um, out of my idea and then we had other three uh, other two which i brought on board so that we can be able to probably help me push the agenda uh, of making it known to the people that we have a solution so um, uh, then we we started it and then uh, of course there are those challenges which come in place when you when you talk about a startup yes. it is not a walk in the park it you have not. to ensure that you put the right strategies yeah. So it was challenging, it was challenging actually, ensuring that uh, all the people, or, okay, the two people who I brought on board, mm -hmm. they understand the vision or yeah. maybe the direction which I'm taking yes. uh, as a founder. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, some broke away because of uh, such. We, sometimes if you're the vision bearer yes. and the people you brought on board do not get to understand mm -hmm. why are we here? Mm -hmm. Where are we working to? Mm -hmm. Probably you might lose them and that's how I lost them. They just came on board mm -hmm. to give me the name. Mm -hmm. But after there, because no coins were coming to the pocket of yeah. each. When yes. you're starting, yes. you spend you instead spend. of gaining. When you're starting mm -hmm. anything, mm -hmm. sometimes you might be required to first spend mm -hmm. before you can be able to earn. Mm -hmm. So they never stayed long enough to witness the earning part. They earn. So they left before, they, le they say they left the party before, too early. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. So yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, how has been the journey like since you started? How has been the journey so far? What can you say since maybe you started the company to now? The journey has been uh, both bit and sweet. I, w I might say mm -hmm. uh, the first probably the first three years of the establishment they weren't easy because we had to. Uh, make sure that we stand out there in terms of uh, making the brand more. But now, like any other uh, uh, startup, uh, with time we have realized that we already established in terms of the human resources that we have, because we've already built the capacity, the human resource capacity. Mm -hmm. We have also ensured that our products are well known and they are meeting the, 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 the immediate needs of the of the clients. Yes. So basically, the journey has been. But the first three years, we were really uh, a struggle because that's the moment that when Lansoft was trying to bring on board uh, maybe marketers so that they can be able to pitch the yes. product. Yes. It's also the time when you're trying to build a brand mm -hmm. that cannot be rejected. Yeah. Because sometimes we, 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 since we specialize in software, mm -hmm. uh, having started with the uh, system for the schools, mm -hmm. we did not imagine that we can be able to meet each and every need of the school. So we were struggling in terms of serving client A who has a different need from client B. So those kind of technicalities and then refining the system so that it can be able to accommodate uh, the different clients. It was a struggle. So we had to bring, uh, take more time of course and spend more resources on the same. 
to make uh, the, the product work. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's amazing. And you've talked about uh, some challenges yes. from the time you established the business. Mm -hmm. uh, you've talked about uh, the co-founders leaving you at some point. Yeah. Uh, I would love for you to tell us how the experience was. Like, what do you think led these people maybe to to leave? Yeah, um, I would say that uh, probably the reason why they left is one, we do they did not see the sense. I, as I indicated, we, we before you start earning, you need to spend, and uh, every person needs to know why are they spending. Uh, yeah, in as much as I try to pitch the idea to them, the vision of the company to them, probably the issue was uh, when are we starting earning? Eh, <laughs> yeah. true. So, so uh, if you, you do have clarity of where your money, or oh, when the money will yes. come in, yes. then you become even, you, you fall back, yes. you fall your hand back mm -hmm. so that, uh, mm -hmm. until you see that clarity. Mm -hmm. But as a, as a, as a founder, uh, you, you already have that already figured out. Mm -hmm. So probably is uh, the, the issue why probably they left is based on maybe the earning and mm -hmm. they, maybe they were not ready to incur expenses without having uh, yeah. seeing the return on investment on the same. Mm -hmm. Then the other thing would have been um, uh, that time the product was not even ready because we it, it, we starting up the product was not ready. So it requires it required them or maybe all of us to come together and mm -hmm. spend more time to refine the system. Probably not not everyone was willing to go that extra that mile thing. for for the start. So what do you do? You just leave the party. Uh, yeah, that's the reason probably they left. Okay. Yes, but what I would appreciate of them, of course, the whole idea they gave yes. me the name because yeah. the Beliotech is coming from one of them, and then Lansoft mm -hmm. came from the other. So they gave me the name, and uh, here we are. We are a brand now. Okay. Uh, do you mind telling us about the name? The name of it's it's basically from if you look at uh, Lansoft, Lansoft is just as it is. One of one of the founders came uh, gave us that, but now the other one is Bellio. Bellio is it's taken from a Kalenjin uh, name or maybe uh, noun called Bellio, which means elephant. So elephant in in Kalenjin means el okay. It's called Bellio basically. Mm -hmm. So the guy brought Bellio so that we can be able to attach tech to mean. A giant, mm -hmm. a giant tech company. So mm -hmm. that's the source of our our name, that mm -hmm. middle name. Oh, yeah. Yes, that is very powerful. That is very powerful. And you also talked about uh, the products in the beginning. Uh, the products were not very well defined. Yeah. Uh, maybe there is someone who is watching and they would love to know which products may you have at yeah. the company. I don't know if you can be able to uh, maybe touch on that, tell us the products maybe. Yeah, um, at Landsoft we have a number of products. I, I think I would just uh, probably say a few. We have close to 12 products, which to date we have already built and they are selling in the market. Mm -hmm. uh, the one which we started with is the, the Landsoft School ERP. It's basically serving both primary schools and secondary schools. Mm -hmm. Now with the change over of uh, probably 844 transitioning and then we have CBC, we have already incorporated those changes. So that is one product that is already selling. And then to date, we have close to 110 schools. We have already sold wow. the product to. Wow. So that means it is cutting from primary to secondary mm -hmm. schools altogether. We have yes. close to 11, yes. 110 schools. Okay. Uh, then again, um, in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, the, 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 the usability of the system, it's very friendly because you don't expect the users of the system to be tech service. Mm -hmm. So we have made it very simple. Small interface, very reliable, but achieving the objective of, of the same. Then the 110 schools are, are cutting across that three counties. Mm -hmm. So I, I know with time we'll be able to take over the 47 yeah, 40, <laughs> counties, counties and make the, the branch known out there. Yes. So the second largest, I think that is the main system that we have already sold so well. Mm -hmm. Then we also have the circle system which mm -hmm. serves the circles, the jamas, circles. so it enables them to keep track of mm -hmm. how members are being registered, mm -hmm. uh, payments, loans, and uh, all that, keeping inventory of the, the circle information uh, every time they do transactions. Mm -hmm. We also have the payroll system mm -hmm. for, uh, for managing yeah. human resources yes. and uh, salary yes. uh, payments. We, 
that also handles asset mm-hmm. assets assets movement and all that mm-hmm. uh then the other major one is a point of sale we have number a, a topos point of sale mm-hmm. that we have already sold to close to 23 clients mm-hmm. basically supermarkets hardware's okay. and all that so it's a product that is really moving because yes. it is helping you mm-hmm. do inventory of your items which you bring on yes. board yes. and also how to dispense them when mm-hmm. the when probably the stock goes down it notifies you it gives you reports and all that then uh, you you keep you you updated of mm-hmm. how the flow and the outflow of the, your products mm-hmm. yes the inventory so i think we we basically have a number of them we also incorporate uh, graphics design uh-huh. we do graphics design like uh, logos and all that branding basically mm-hmm. uh, and the uh, design of mobile and uh, mobile applications and also websites e-commerce and all that okay. yes okay. Yeah. Uh, from your profile online i've seen that you have received is it two awards yeah sure yeah uh, would you tell us about uh, the awards and uh, to, and also tell us how that inspires you maybe to become the, be- the best person you are today oh, thank you i think uh, when it comes to being award be, being awarded it means that uh, someone has already identified something you have done extraordinary mm-hmm. now uh, that means uh, in as much as we do not see that our product is really serving or doing something good to the society then other people have already identified them mm-hmm. so one of them is uh, one of the awards we've gotten last year was uh, uh, we were awarded by the county and town planners association of kenya mm-hmm. which recognized landsoft school year p mm-hmm. as the best solution uh, which can be which automates the school processes uh, that one came uh, came in anti to inspire us to even reach more schools so that we can be able to uh, help the schools make uh, their lives better because we realize that uh, a school maybe teachers are spending four to five days analyzing the maps with a lot yes. of errors yes. uh, then why don't we have that is a problem already mm-hmm. then we sorted it using yes. the system in yes. place so that comes to inspire us it has inspired us it has inspired us and also ensured the marketing team is mm-hmm. asked some something even to pitch the product because when you are press then it mean it becomes even easy to pitch the product to the prospects mm-hmm. and the leads mm-hmm. so that is one of them the second one was given by we were awarded by the connected awards awards that is a nigerian company that recognized our effort in terms of um, the company level not just one product but uh, how we've been able to give products which are giving uh, are solving the needs of the society basically so it was a competitive kind of uh, uh, selection but we emerged, emerged to be winners gold winners of that particular category wow. of uh, product designer category mm-hmm. yeah so these awards the two of them have already given us a better platform and a better uh, strength mm-hmm. to be able to uh, reach out to a bigger audience okay. because at the end of the day we do not uh, we want to win. We want the client to win in terms of yes. pressing Lansoft mm-hmm. for solving their problems okay. and even automating their okay. processes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's amazing. And uh, when you are introducing yourself, you introduced yourself as an author also. Mm-hmm. And uh, here I see a book and it's Tembe uh, Kajimezea. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, would you tell us about uh, the book and what what inspired you to uh, to publish the book, and uh, just tell us about how this came into existence. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, this book uh, it's 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 a it's a eight year old work, which of course. Um, came to fulfillment last year we actually i actually published it last year mm-hmm. uh but the, the, the manuscript was first written time eight years ago eight years now ago. it doesn't mean that we stole in mm-hmm. making it pub, uh, published mm-hmm. but uh, uh it i loved swahili in high school okay. and uh, i had already started the story from high school uh so i would build it i would build on it so this is a long story it's not uh the, the, the term the layer, mm-hmm. but in a rewire. Okay. That means it's a continuous process from start to the end. So it takes you from point A all the way to the last uh, point. Mm-hmm. So um, the inspiration behind this is mm-hmm. just uh, that I loved Swahili and also I had a very articulate mm-hmm. Swahili teacher who inspired us mm-hmm. to even do. I remember when we were doing the set books, we would be 
we would be narrating maybe one or two paragraphs yes. without pausing. You see, that is preparing for the exam. Mm -hmm. So that gave us the the, the, the the experience to be able to even uh, see our thoughts should be able to flow. Mm -hmm. How can we be uh, bring out a story creatively mm -hmm. to bring uh, knowledge or maybe um, a society to understanding. Now, this book incorporates a lot of things. Of course, it can be studied at high school and even... Uh, um, young kids because it's very uh, uh, it's very uh, it's, a, it's an inspiring story in terms of uh, anyone can be able to read and understand those who understand Swahili okay. so how we've come uh, to to partner together mm. now uh, you'll be wondering why would a software engineer write a Swahili yes. they are not even close <laughs> they're not even close to yes. each other but uh, now uh, with our product being sold in those many schools yes. that I've already mentioned we've we've even seen the sense and that's why i even published it so that we can be able to partner with those schools mm -hmm. because what uh, who resides in the school they are children basically the students, students and they read mm -hmm. and if you go back to uh, high school you find that they are reading a set book yes. and it's not different from this because yes. this is just a continuous process mm -hmm. so what we do f to give back to the society mm -hmm. we partnered with those schools mm -hmm. so that we can be able even to give a few copies mm -hmm. if not many to them so that they can be, we can be able to grow the community as well. And wow. teachers and uh, management has already appreciated that particular effort. Even as we market the product, mm -hmm. the software, we are able also to appreciate the schools in a different way wow. so that we keep the culture of um, uh, learning mm -hmm. and uh, gaining skills. Okay. Yes. That's so amazing. And uh, Jared, I would li like to ask, what keeps you motivated, you know, as the CEO, as the vision there? I understand maybe at some point uh, it reaches a point you feel like maybe things are not moving the way you yeah. want. I know it gets to that point. Uh, I don't know what motivates you or rather, do you have you ever reached to that point and you feel like you're, you want to give up? Well, uh, I would say that, uh, yes, there are those points where you wake up in the morning and you don't even need you, you don't, don't want to like, you don't feel like yes, going to work yes. you don't even want to uh, make a call to a client or yes, something yes. attend a meeting mm -hmm. but uh, basically you have to because life has to have those ups and downs mm -hmm. now one of the inspirations that keeps me moving as a CEO mm -hmm. is one of the things I realize I'm leading a team mm -hmm. and uh, the moment you realize that you're leading a team like you know in our case we have close to 22 employees yes, yes. Uh, what happens if I give up? Where What is the fate of these 22 employees? So basically, that is an inspiration by itself. Yes, you promised employee A, you'll be doing, you'll be approving a letter. You haven't yet approved. Yeah. They'll give you a call. Yes. Probably to ask how far I am with that particular approval. Yes. So you cannot basically afford because these people probably are relying on this. They look up. Yeah, they look up to me to yes. make sure that things are moving. Mm -hmm. yet, yet again, um, now look at the 110 clients from one product. Uh, the moment you give up, the fate of this is already gone. Mm -hmm. So that already inspires you to even go further because your list of the people looking up, up to you, mm -hmm. it's increasing every, every day. As day. you get new employees, as you get new clients, clients, it tells you that you do have a reason. You started this, you have to finish you it. To finish. So basically that is very important. And also, um, I think I'm, I'm, uh, I'm result oriented. Sometimes you find that if something is not working, you have to switch your strategy. Mm -hmm. Now, what is bringing you down? Probably you started a, pro a product, you are not able to pitch it or maybe sell it to the... Uh, what are the issues? You need to narrow down to the, the cause problem? of the problem. Yes. Is it employees? Yes. Is there the approach in, yes. in which we took the, yes. the product? Mm -hmm. Because obviously, if everything is moving smoothly, I don't think you'll have issues with waking up. You'll not, you'll not be down. Mm -hmm. you love your spirits up. Yeah. But our spirits go down if mm -hmm. we do not something meet an objective. Down. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. But now, if we are able to now narrow down to the problems the and problem. solve them yes. and understand them in a better way, yes. then I think uh, we'll stay afloat mm -hmm. in all things. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And what are some of the lessons probably you have learned so far? And uh, do you have any advice to maybe someone who is thinking of maybe to start a company or maybe to that uh maybe to someone who has already started a company and is feeling like uh he or she wants to give up what is the advice you can give well um 
yeah to those who are starting of course uh, yeah, i'll tell them that uh, it's not a walk in the park uh, you have to work mm-hmm. yourself up mm-hmm. one of the things you need to have in mind is that if mm-hmm. you carry the vision of that particular platform mm-hmm. or maybe the company you're starting mm-hmm. then uh, as long as it's a solid idea mm-hmm. make it work with the determination one of the things you might realize is that uh, when it is starting it will be bitter yes. but it doesn't mean that you have the room to give up mm-hmm. uh, one of the things you might need to do is to probably consult more before you even begin anything mm-hmm. consult those who know more in the same area mm-hmm. so that you can gain experience yes. for example if you are specializing in um, in maybe human resources yes. why don't you consult those who have experience in the same those field the and gather yes as much information as possible mm-hmm. now if it comes to now the actual um, uh, activation or maybe commencement of the uh, of the company you also need to have the strategic plan what plan do i have for the maybe short term plans and also the long term plan you can give yourself maybe a five three year i think three year plan is very good for you to be able to evaluate whether you are making any progression or not yeah so 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 that and then you choose the right people choosing the right people to work with is very important because as i've given you as the, my stories that uh, some gave gave up, gave up because they did not see the essence of that yes. but if we had someone who is already determined to work with, with you to the uh, to the, the latter stage you will be able to you not lose them along the way so choosing the right people is also very important gaining as much information about the field is very important also to give you of what to expect yes. at the end of the day yes. yeah of course there are so many benefits of uh, being able to have your company up and running mm-hmm. because one of the things is you'll be able to know that th- that purpose that you had in mind has been achieved and look at landsoft if you look at the employees that we have already employed uh they, 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 they are benefiting from the same idea that you gave because if it were not for lands of probably the 22 employees would not be earning anything from yeah. there so you also look at the impact you are making to yes. uh, around you so you influence right. people you bring them up and then yes. you'll be there uh praising uh, the team and also uh, the, the whole organization mm-hmm. in terms of the goals that you've set ahead mm-hmm. yes right. and uh, some of the lessons probably Yeah uh lessons uh, is that uh, I should as a leader I should be able to impress Timo Timo is very important if you try to run the show alone probably you will not be able to proceed uh it is Timo that determines how far you can you, you can be able to move yes. the other thing is organizational uh skills you, sometimes we feel we uh, I I never use the word I in as much as something came from from, from me you. Yes. yes i never use the word i you. i did yes, I, I but did. we always say we i always use the word we, we. so that it shows everyone was included wow. in the same area so yes because uh, the moment you say i, I. someone there who did a lot True. will say that uh, i was left out yeah yeah then they they are demotivated of course. yeah mm-hmm. also as a team i usually encourage of course mostly marketers and techies to ensure that uh, um, in as much as you doing a lot avoid activities but concentrate on deliverables you see you can write for me a report of what you did the whole day but you you find that it is very little what you have achieved in terms of the objective that yes. you setting yes. so why don't we concentrate on results instead of activities Active. yeah because i know it is a culture with marketers where they tell you i worked from client yeah, a to yes. z yeah. but you can't even formulate anything yes. from the yes. same yeah yes. so it's very important that we document the actual results yeah. out of what you did out uh, from uh, during the day mm-hmm. then again i've learned that uh, uh, in as much as you might not have the influence uh, the what you do you can be able to influence you see mm-hmm. uh, as a brand landsoft can be able to influence on behalf of me because uh it is what we have already done and and uh, impacted on the society that the society will uphold wow. what the solution you have given to them so it is not me to praise myself but rather the impact the that impact. we have already put to the society can you can you repeat that again i want to get it right. yeah so basically i'm saying it is not about uh me yes. rather the the brand yes. giving the impact to the society yeah i know we do a lot but basically let the product mm-hmm. let 
let the product give the impact yes. to the users and consumers of the same. Wow. Yes. Wow. So uh, where can people find you on the social media platforms? Right. Um, we we are available on all social media platforms: Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter. Yeah. If you search for Landsoft Bellotech Solution, our name is very unique. You will be able to find us there. Yes. Yeah. For personal uh, handle, it's Jared Mwanduk. Just that you'll be able to find me in the social media platforms. All the platforms. Uh, yeah. I would encourage the LinkedIn, of course. Uh, you, you there. We post a lot of jobs, so if you have an opportunity, just go through it. You can be able to see an opportunity okay. you, to engage with us. Mm. Yes. Okay. Okay. So uh, I think we are winding up, and uh, I don't think there is anything left. I don't know. If, do you have anything that you feel maybe you can add, or uh, maybe a closing? Um, I, I would say thank you for inviting me to for this particular interview. Mm -hmm. I think uh, it's, a, it's 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 out of your courtesy mm -hmm. that I'll be able to be here. And um, uh, thank you so much. I think that is a much I can be able to appreciate. Mm -hmm. Yes. You are all right. Mm -hmm. Any any other thing? Uh, I'm fine. You're fine. Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. So, uh, guys, we have reached the end of our show today, and uh, it has been an amazing episode to be here today with the CEO of uh, Landsoft Tech Solution. I believe, guys, we have learned a lot, a lot. And uh, I'm getting to love these uh, interviews with the CEOs because I believe there is a lot for us uh, to learn from. Uh, so far, we've learned a lot. For me personally, I've learned so much today from uh, the CEO of uh, Lands of Value Tech Solution. I have learned um, that uh, for anyone who is uh, planning to start a uh, a company or maybe you have already started a company you need to consult a lot this is something that i know we don't do for me also i started a business some time back and i didn't do i didn't do this i didn't consult i didn't talk to uh, people maybe who have been in the industry so i believe that is a very powerful powerful message and guys i hope also you have learned a lot so uh with that, I believe we've reached the end. So until next time, 